At this point, I'll click on the Save and Calculate button to save the operation and calculate the toolpath. With the toolpath calculated, I'll click on the Simulate button to see the simulation of the toolpath, and the simulation control panel is displayed. This Zoom to Fit button will center the model. Once I click on the Play button, you can see the simulation begin in the SOLIDWORKS window. This simulation mode enables you to display the toolpath directly on the model in the SOLIDWORKS window. Since all the view options of SOLIDWORKS are active during the simulation, you can see the toolpath from different perspectives and zoom in on a certain area of the model. On the Simulation Control Panel, I'll switch to the Solid Verify tab. With this mode active, you can get the simulation of machining on the solid model. The defined solid stock model is used in this mode. During the machining simulation process, SolidCam subtracts the tool movements from the solid model of the stock. The remaining machine stock is a solid model that can be dynamically zoomed or rotated. It can also be compared to the target model in order to show the rest of the material. I'll click on the Play button, and when the Solid Verify simulation is finished, I'll switch to the Rest Material tab on the Simulation Control Panel. From here, I'll select the After Operation mode to check the rest material after the rough milling. This rest material will have to be removed with a finished milling operation. To close the simulation and return to the Operation dialog box, click on this Exit button here, and finish up by also closing this Operation dialog box.